Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to the last episode of Weekly Angel Guidance for 2018. Oh my gosh, how fast has this year gone? And then in some regards it's kind of dragged out and it's been so mentally draining. So let's see what we need to know for this week. So this is for December the 24th to the 30th. We're going through three phases of the moon. So we're going to be starting the week out in... Where's my notes here? Oh, in the new moon of Cancer. This is a really intense new moon. And if you haven't been working on releasing your blockages along the way, this can be a very emotional time. So if there's something that you definitely want to change before you go into 2019, this is the perfect moon where you start releasing that pain or really working out like, what isn't working for you and where exactly do you need to go? By the way, if you need help with that and you are literally struggling to heal your emotional pain and you are someone who has suffered from childhood trauma, then I want you to check out my exclusive free training because in that I teach you exactly how I have been able to heal my own pain and literally turn it into greatness. And Oh, it's just incredible. So applications are still open. The one-on-one -on -one co online coaching program begins starting in the second week of January. So a lot going on with the Cancer new moon, uh, full moon. Then on Wednesday, we move into the disseminating moon. This is the receiving phase of the moon. This is where you receive expected and unexpected delicious goodness. So I'm so interested to see what comes up for you. And it's interesting that that totally falls around Christmas time. <laughs> um, and then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the last quarter of the moon. This is asking us to breathe, to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So think of it as in like the balance, you're receiving all this delicious goodness and we need to give it back. You don't need to give gifts, you can give your time. You could, you know, you could cook someone the most delicious meal. You could write them the most beautiful letter, you know, get right down to what truly matters. And that's what your focus is overall for the moon phases for this week. So today I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. So this is just a general reading just to see what exactly do you need to know for this week. Let me just double check to see if I'm recording on my mic. Oh, and it's in shot. We'll just move it out of the way. All right, I actually have to be really quick today because, oh my gosh, life is so crazy now that everyone's booking in for all of these strategy sessions to see if they're an energetic match for the, the coaching program. So I have to be very quick because I have a client very shortly. Like how crazy is that? All right, so angels, yo, what up? What am I MK love fam need to know for Monday? Okay, well, we've got two cards, so it's about partnerships. Da -na 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 -na. Holy shit. Okay, all right, we got the tower card. We've had the tower card come up quite a lot. So this is like your, st your stability and your structure. Something's going away. You know, something hasn't been serving you for a long time. And maybe right now you've been, you know, knowing that you may move, because I know a lot of people are gonna be moving in 2019 myself included and I'll tell you about more of that later <laughs> and um, okay things are changing this it's like something has to go away so this is like a tower which is like on fire and it's burning I heard a song then I'm trying not to rush this energy but I feel like to taste is different And then I heard Demi Lovato. Oh my God, this is a tough song to sing. Um, and now I'm a warrior. Now I got thicker skin. I'm stronger than I've ever been. Warrior by Demi Lovato. It's a really hard song to sing. Like she's incredible. Oh, warrior. Hold on, let me just Google it. I need to know how this song goes. Please help me. Warrior. Demi Lovato. I hope she's doing well with everything she's been going through. I'm stronger than I've ever been. Okay. Hold on, let me just quickly play it. Okay, while I'm waiting for that one to load, the other one is the Ace of Swords. This is a brand new beginning. So it was like... 
I feel like this is a partnership. Either this is like a relationship that's ending. This is you working with other people and you've now got thicker skin. You're stronger than you've ever been. Things had to fall away. It's a divine intervention. It's a blessing. Either you, either it was a divine intervention or you orchestrated it for yourself. However that is looking for Monday, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Duh, why didn't I not think of this? It's a full moon. So you're like grieving. You're grieving what happened on the, what, what things have happened previously. Okay, that makes sense more with the tower card. So you're grieving what used to be and you're now learning to have thicker skin and know that you're becoming stronger than you've ever been. Oh my gosh, I love Demi. Okay, in regards to the Demi Lovato song, it's like, um, it's like I'm stronger than I've ever been and I'm a warrior. What are the lyrics? And you can never hurt me again. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Warrior by Demi Lovato is what's coming up. So you're stronger than you've ever been. Something had to fall away and you're mourning the loss of that. And now you're able to rebuild with the Ace of Swords, this beautiful butterfly. You have turned into this butterfly. You know, you're not the caterpillar anymore. You know, you're not being unnoticed. You're literally being noticed. And people are like, are so excited to be around you. But this is also like this new chapter for you. Swords represents like challenges. This sword here is double-ended. So it's like, okay, you choose how it's going to go. You're going to take, you know, the path of least resistance or are you going to be paddling upstream and getting super flipping tired? You have a choice, my love. You have a choice. You know, something had to go away and it is a blessing in disguise. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. It's interesting that that came up in partnerships. I feel like this is you letting go of who you used to be attached to someone and now you're defining yourself as a strong, independent woman or gentleman, however that looks. Okay, so that's for Monday. That's lovely. Oh, channel Demi Lovato, wow. Okay, let me just go back to my normal screen. Stronger than I've ever been in my armor. It's made of steel, you can't get in, I'm a warrior, and you will never hurt me. There's a part of me, I can't get back, a little girl grew up too fast. Da -da 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 -da. No. That's interesting, because she wrote that song about her dad, because her dad was an alcoholic. She had to grow up really quick. I got goosebumps, so I'm totally right. Yes. Okay, so Wednesday to Friday, we're moving into the disseminating moon. This is interesting because this is the receiving phase and we got the nine of swords, which is kind of like, what? Okay, let's see if I can work out what this is. So then, well, in general, the nine of swords represents like all the marks on your chest. Every time I pull this card, it, it reminds me of that song. Don't look back in anger, I heard you say. Don't look back in anger because it's like, okay, things had to fall away. It's okay. I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. If you're looking back to 28, what year are we in now? <laughs> to 2018 and you're actually not happy about what actually happened, you have the power to change next year. You literally have the power to change. It really boils down to one thing. Do you actually want to change or do you just like the idea of it? You know, that's the question you're going to be faced with. If you look back at all of those wounds and saying that was a, a divine intervention, that was a blessing in disguise. For me, like I didn't want to move back to Mackay. I had to move back to Mackay. I needed to focus on my program. I needed to live in a place with my family to heal, you know, to heal the, the last part of my, my childhood traumas, you know, that used to trigger me. I had to do that. And sometimes you don't want to do things, but your angel's saying, this is what you need to do. And you have to surrender to that pain. If you keep looking back at everything and being like, I messed up, I'm a failure, I'm unworthy. Oh my God, I'm going to sabotage myself again. What, what do you think 2019 is going to look like? It's going to be the same all over again. Just think of this. You have the power to change. And I know for a lot of you, you are already on the journey to identify, like contrast. What do you like? What do you don't? You know, what did you do that you probably would do differently next time? Okay, so it's like, don't look back in anger because it's like, you're a warrior. That had to happen. That tower had to burn. It had to happen. 
He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, you would have seen it. I bet you, you would have done the same. All right. What did I just do? Oh my God, I messed up. I just literally went from, I'm reading for. I read for the new moon and then I went straight into the disseminating moon, but I missed out Tuesday. I'm going to go back. Whoa, that's never happened before, is it? Oh God, really? So Tuesday, which is still the full moon, is the seven of swords. So this means like deceit. Did someone deceive you or did you deceive someone else and you're feeling guilty for it? Did you cheat on somebody? You know, did you, did you do something that you're not proud of? Because I feel like this is all still part of like releasing that pain. Because this came up a lot, probably in the last couple of months. So did someone do something wrong? Okay, that makes sense. And then on the, okay, so Monday, the tower, so something had to fall away. You're building stronger foundations because of it. You're releasing it. And you're stronger than you've ever been because you're a warrior. You're Demi Lovato. Chem channel Demi Lovato for this week. Okay, then Tuesday, the seven of wands is that someone deceived you or you deceived yourself. Probably a mixture of the two, depending on where exactly you're at on your journey. Um, yeah, this is like not really own, owning up for what you have done or somebody else has done, or maybe you didn't even speak up and you just allowed them to treat you like that. Then on Wednesday, we've got the nine of swords, which is like, um, looking back. Ooh, I'm looking back on a life I've been given. The da 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 lost control. That's Tina Arena's album. Don't look back, don't you ever do that. Don't look back, I'm never looking back. Don't look back. Don't. Okay, don't look back. Yay, I channeled a different song for that card. That's amazing. Most of you who aren't Australian probably don't know who Tina Arena is. Or maybe you do if you're Italian because she lived in there for a very long time. She's an amazing singer. Oh my gosh. So Tina Arena, don't look back. <laughs> And Demi Lovato Warrior. Oh, amazing powerhouse vocals today. All right, so let's look for Thursday. This is still in the receiving phase of the moon. One card for Thursday, my beautiful angels. Don't look back, don't you ever do that. Don't look back. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ah! We got the King of Wands. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. King of Wands, you came to the completion of your passion projects. Oh my God, the Wands is your passion. You did it. Ah, you conquered your fear. If you have been doing that, that's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, and then I heard that song. Hopelessly devoted to you. Ooh, hopelessly devoted to yourself. You have devoted yourself to your craft. You've made a breakthrough. Oh my gosh, it was two weeks ago we had that break break free. Because it was a week that Kardashians came out with their episode of like break free. I was like, what? Oh my God. Okay, so Monday to, I feel like Monday to Wednesday is kind of like that reflection. When will my reflection show? who I am inside. It will show the moment you surrender and you take your responsibility for everything that happened. You allowed that dude to treat you like a piece of shit. You allowed yourself to be stuck in this bullshit job. Oh my God, I'm getting so worked up and I'm swearing, sorry. You allowed yourself to be stuck in this job which manifested illness and disease within your body. You allowed yourself to be spoken to by this family member who still has control over you and now you've gotten out you've gotten out but this is like passions though so this is like what what things have you been working on creations creativity all right what do we need to know for friday still in the disseminating moon receiving oh wow so now we've got the knight of swords the Knight of Swords is like fast moving energy, but it's like you're, you have, it's like you're ready to,
speak up for yourself if you need to get into that situation. You know, if you're around family during Christmas, the Christmas period, someone may say something to trigger you, but you know, just, just be like, they don't know all the facts. That's the thing. Um, there's lyrics in Champion from Carrie Underwood and Ludacris, and it says, um, I'd be the last one standing, two, ha two hands in the air, I'm a champion. Then it am for an over. I did it for the love of better. I'm, oh gosh. Put your butt on your back like Ali. Okay, listen to Champion. I'm feeling Champion from Carrie Underwood in here. So it's like, yeah, you are a champion. I am a champion. They knock me down and I get up again. I am the champ. Every time I hear that song, I cry. And I normally am singing that in the shower. And I'm like, oh, I'm washing my hair. Like, oh, I'm, I'm the champ. <laughs> okay, that's where we're at for Friday. So moving towards, it's like you're moving past conflict. You know, you, you're like not allowing anything to, ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Not let, allowing anything to interfere with the path on which you're going. You're like, you know what? You may think like, for me, my family don't understand what I'm doing and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe you like read tarot professionally on your YouTube channel and you know, you've just launched this new part of your business. They don't understand, but they have no flipping idea what I'm doing and the impact that it's having on these beautiful high vibe souls that are enrolling into my coaching program. You know, they don't get it. And I'm at the point where I was like, you don't need to get it. Well, angels, I wasn't ready. Hold on. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. So Saturday and Sunday is the last quarter. Okay. So Saturday, what do we need to know for Saturday? One card for Saturday, please. This week is quite full on, very mixed, but like amazing. You've done a lot of work. King of Wands is just like pff, the Holy Grail. Saturday, one card, please, angels. Just one. You're telling me to breathe properly. I think it's because of this stupid necklace. I love it, but it's like, it's literally a choker. Okay. You gave me a lot of cards. I'm just going to pull the first one. Now I got the itchy nose back. That happened last week. Ugh. Okay. The first card that I saw is the Nine of Wands. It's interesting. It just reminds me of the, the Knight of Swords. So it's like working towards... Ah, this itchy nose. Do you remember what the itchy nose was? I wrote it on the Metaphysics Guide. Nine of Wands. So it's fast moving, moving energy to exactly where you need to go. You know, there, it's like you're... It's like you're ahead of the rest of the game. People don't understand exactly where you're going and they're like thinking like, oh my God, she's going to fail. But you're like, oh, what's that song? Wait till they see my smile when the wind is blowing in your face. Don't let emotions go. People always speak. <clears throat> People always speculate. See, they say things they don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm channeling Alicia Keys in that song. I still put on a vest with an S on my jets. Oh, yes, I'm a super woman. Yes, I am. Because I'm super woman. It's like you're just doing things regardless of what anyone else says and you're like ahead of the game. All right, let's see what we need to know for Sunday. Okay, thanks. Another partnership. Okay. Oh. Ah. What? This reading is all over the shop. Is it because I feel all over the shop today reading this and I'm in a rush? Do I need to refilm this? No, my angels are going like this. No. Well, okay. Sunday. Breathing with ease. You got the Ten of Wands. The Ten of the Wands is like you wanting to do so much, but you're taking on more than you can actually nourish in all aspects, nourishing yourself. It's like a tree. So a tree is like very grounding and has the roots to, you know, within the soil to get lots of deep nutrients. But it's like you're, 
It's like having it on, it's like being the hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. It's like you're having too much on your plate and you really need to stay laser focused and choose one path instead of like, I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I've gotta do that. It's like, okay, what do you actually need to do? You know, type it into your Google Notes. You know, whatever you need to do, write a plan. You know, if you fail to plan, is that the thing? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You're right, so it's like you're taking on too much and then also we got the seven of wands, which is like attack. So you kind of feel like overwhelmed. Oh God, I've got to go. The better to learn more. Ah, stop playing with Spotify. Oh God, I got a new phone and I don't even know how to work it yet. Okay, so that's where we're at. So we've got too much going on and we really need to stay laser focused and there could be some contrast that comes up today. I feel like this is also, I feel like this is more so protecting exactly what you want and not being too like, having your energy too dispersed, staying laser focused. Like I literally have, an, have something on my computer. It's called self-control if you're on a Mac. I don't know if it's on Android. It's called self-control and it blocks everything, every site that you don't want to go on that's going to distract you. So you say laser focus. I wish they had it for phones though, because it's like everyone's got a phone, but I think I need to start putting it in a different room. All right, quick recap. Monday, we're releasing the pain of this tower, however that looks for you. Tuesday, we're needing to either forgive ourselves or somebody else because somebody wronged you. Wednesday, it's like, don't look back in anger. You know, if you're not happy where you, where you are now in 2018, you have time to change it. Please change it before we start the solar eclipse because there will be a massive divine intervention and it will not be pretty. Then we have the King of Wands, a massive celebration, which is, if I pull my notes up again. Say they say things they don't know. So Thursday, so disseminating moon. So you're receiving abundance. This is like you have arrived. Either it was like you were manifesting something that you thought was so intangible, but you felt deep down that you knew you could do it. This is like a mass, this is completion. This is completion of a project. Either, oh my gosh, maybe by Thursday I find all of my dream clients. Ah, what does that mean for you? Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, then on... Friday, we've got the Knight of Swords, so it's like fast-moving energy, but it's like being you're you're not allowing conflict to like penetrate your skin, and you're just like just just shake it off. A little Taylor Swift in there too. All right, Saturday we've got the Nine of Wands. You know you're doing things regardless of what anybody else says, and you're. It's like you're just ahead of the game. Then Sunday, it's like you've just taken on too much. You have to stay laser focused and protect the one thing that is the most important to you, however that looks. Oh, card of the week. Oh my gosh, hold on. Uh, okay, card of the week and then I gotta go. I gotta go. Wow, ah, okay, a lot to do with partnerships, another two. Oh, we got the bloody, the high priestess. Oh my gosh, this is like your intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you. Use the emotional guide to scale, guidance scale. Are you down in fear and depression? Are you suicidal? I bloody hope you're not. And if you are, I'm sending you my angels. Please book in for a, a, a chat with me if you are, because I, I will do whatever I can to chat with you. And I know a lot of you have said that when I've been chatting to you um, on these strategy calls, but you really need to trust your intuition. However that looks, trust your intuition. Maybe when you're around family, sometimes you're like, I'm actually just going to bite my tongue because you know, right now it's actually not worth it because I'm only going to see you for two hours and then I'll be back at my house and I'll be like, oh, relief. And that's when you jump in the pool. <laughs> or am I just talking about me? All right. Then we have the two of ones. Ah, oh, so many twos. Two, 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 two of wands. Okay, so this is like surveying the land, but you have this line here. He's got strength and protection and you're being guided. You're being guided by your angels. I feel like that inner strength is already you, but it's like sometimes you doubt it and maybe you just need that beautiful person to just shine, um, shine bright like a diamond. I feel like it's like a mirror. Someone's mirroring things to you that you need to change. Or no, 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 no mirroring to you things that you never saw before. There must be something there that wasn't there before. I gotta go, a bird just dropped on. I have a bird that comes out of this window all the time when he's about, something really good is about to happen. So I gotta go. I may have my dream client on this call. I gotta go. All right, I hope this helps. Please rewind it if I've rushed it too much or just pause it. I love you, I love you, I love you. Have an amazing Christmas. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, whatever you 
celebrate happy holidays if you're not religious at all like me and you just love Christmas for like beautiful vibrations everyone's happy and I really hope you have an amazing week I truly do remember next next week I chat with you we're going to be in the new year oh my gosh and then we're going to be having the eclipse season starting so please release that pain please 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 um and if you need help releasing that pain like I mean deep emotional like childhood trauma kind of pain the pain that's like leaves you on the ground crying you don't know why the flip it happened or it leaves you after these cycles of like toxic relationship after toxic relationship or you know just watch my training my exclusive free training melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training it's going to help you out sending you so much love happy vibes merry christmas happy holidays and ah i'll see you back in 2019 i love you i love you i love you and i'll talk to you soon bye